Okay, spinning arm bar and north-south more is what we're working on. So, we're starting in the side control position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach through, grab our own lapel, and tuck our elbow. Our arm comes around the head, we pin his ear, or his head, against our knee, and we post our hand on the mat so he can't free his head. We don't want him to be able to bridge and turn around, and that's why we're pinning his head. Now what we're gonna do, because we know that for him to escape, he needs to turn into us, is we're gonna give him the room to turn into us, and then we're gonna help him. So, we slide our knees back, and then we roll him up using our elbow on his ribs. We pin his head to the floor. Our knees come up by his head. We step over, grab the belt, sit down. My knee is inside of my arm, and I have to have this belt grip. If I don't have the belt grip, then he'll escape very easily. I lay back, my head goes down, my hips go up, and I finish an arm bar. Again, if I don't have this belt grip, then he can just run away and start to escape because I don't have anything controlling his torso. So it's important to either have a belt grip or a grip on the pants, grip on the pants, whatever, but don't grab the jacket because the jacket's too loose, it'll, it'll let him free. So that's the spinning arm bar. If we want to do the north-south kimura, it's a very similar attack. So we have our side control, we reach through and get our grip, arm comes around, we pin the head, we pin our elbow. We know again that he needs to turn into us to escape at this point, so we give him the room, we help him turn. We pin his head to the mat, our knees come together, we step over and sit down on his head. We hug his arm, we release our lapel, grab his wrist, grab our own wrist. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our elbow on his ribs. We're not just gonna turn, and we're not gonna bend his arm before we turn, because if we do, he can defend. So what we do is we place our elbow onto his ribs, we roll his wrist down behind his back, we look, and we finish the Kimura. Alternatively, what we can do is we can extend our elbow to the floor, shoot our leg through underneath his head, curl your hand, pull his arm in, and lock up the trimora position. So you can finish a triangle here, you can finish a kimura here, you can finish a key lock here, you also have a wrist lock here, and you can also finish toe holds from here as well, or come right back up and finish a normal kimura.